Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf back here at Second Swing is Minnetonka store here in the tour van with Jackie Johnson, master club fitter here. And we have a fun head to head driver comparison today with Mizuno drivers. Uh, so there's the Mizuno STZ 230 driver, which was released back in 2023. And then Jackie has the Mizuno ST Max 230, which is a in addition to the ST line here in 2024. So, um, Jackie, these are, you know, the ST Max is a new one for 2024. Probably haven't done a ton of fitting with that one no. yet. Um, but when you just look at these drivers, I guess, what do you expect we're going to see here? Maybe? Yeah, I mean, the ST Max is obviously a little bit bigger. Has yeah. this tungsten weight in the back that's mm -hmm. uh, pretty noticeable compared to the STZ in terms of it's yeah. definitely larger. Uh, still a little a weight on the STZ, um, but size of it is pretty... Yeah, right. Yeah, com you can definitely tell just based on just mm -hmm. looking at the two. So, um, obviously, Max is going to be a little bit more forgiving. Mm -hmm. um, STZ is, you know, probably going to have a little bit uh, less spin. Yeah. Um, so, I, I would imagine that, you know, I, I would think both of them are actually going to be pretty good, but the Max might be just a little bit slightly more forgiving. Yep. A little bit more draw biased. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm interesting to, interested to, you know, do the testing just because you know with Mizuno drivers I think they're uh honestly probably underrated yeah um and they're a sneaky club especially if you're looking to you know save a little bit of money as well because the price points are a little bit better so yeah. um you know if anyone is looking to get a driver that's you know got a budget in mind like Mizuno has done a really good job the last few years on yeah. creating some good driver products so yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to test these out and see how they rock against some other yeah. drivers out there uh, mm -hmm. for this year. Yeah, I think the STZ is, it's weird because Mizuno doesn't really, at least last year with their series, STZ, STX, they didn't really have that like max forgiving model. Yeah. Um, and now in 2024, that's the whole story about really every brand is like, we have max forgiveness for you. Right. We have all this MOI for you. So um, yeah, you're going to probably see... I would imagine a little lower spin with the STZ. It seems like that center of gravity is a little bit more forward. Also, the Cortec chamber on the bottom is expanded yeah. on the ST Max. That design stabilized things, you know, more consistency across the face. Um, yeah, obviously a much bigger pr footprint as well with the ST Max. So let's hit, you know, several shots with each driver, kind of get your feedback on how they look, if there's any differences there. And obviously, we've got the TrackMan ready to go. All right, let's go. Did Trackman pick it up? It did. Not great, but... Just a little bit open club face there, but is it still in the fairway? That's where we got to find out. No, it's not. <sighs> I think you're past the tree, though. You got to look at the green. Six point eight attack angle. Yep. It's pretty good. That was a good swing there. Oh yeah, look at that ball. Better. I don't. Yeah. Doesn't really get much straighter than that. No. Spins pretty good. Maybe just slightly low. You're kind of aiming for like mid two thousands, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, just swing like that again. Yeah, I was gonna say low on the face there. Man, initial thoughts, I kind of feel like, I mean, hard to tell because I'm not putting a lot of good swings on it, but I, even then, weight's a little, I mean, definitely different than I'm used to. Yeah. Um, I think the offset's, like, it's, so the thing, thing about Mizuno is that the biggest difference that I see up compared to, like, other brands is mm -hmm. the hosel yeah it's just so different compared to like how it sits on the club really so it's just it definitely is different like yeah. the look which is a little bit like off-putting i guess just the the look of it at a dress well so i know they this i guess i'm not 100 percent sure if it's different for drivers but i know the iron standard lie angles are a little flatter yeah. than other brands. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's the same with drivers, but maybe that, you know, that could be part of it. Um, this one definitely is a, is got some offset to it. Obviously, it's the max, so it's going to have that um, to help kind of straighten things out, right, for 
yeah. anyone that slices a ball. Um, but yeah, I mean, first thing, like the weight's just maybe a little bit different. Um, yeah. So trying to get used oh, to yeah. that. Let's, let's hit a few more here. Trying to get used to it. Let's see. That was a bit better. Yeah, a little low. <sighs> yeah, there's another good one. Yep. So what does it feel like to you? Because it's like a um, thick, because Mizuno kind of has a unique, you know, unique titanium structure. It's not just kind of the, the titanium that most brands use. It's kind of a, you know, they call it a beta titanium, a little bit stronger, if you will. Um, um, I would say like, it feels, definitely doesn't feel like a, I don't know. Like when you talk about Mizuno irons, they're soup like, super awesome right yeah. like the, the feel on them is so soft amazing and, right yeah um first impressions on the driver is just um honestly not i mean it's hard to tell just because of how i'm hitting it but yeah. i'd say like um a little firmer, it, it, it feels like i have to really swing at it for some reason with the head weight which i don't know if it's just a mental thing for me or yeah. like or okay. so like that part of it like compared to other brands like right now it just it feels and i don't know if it's the mass of the club like just yeah I, i'm trying to i feel like i gotta try and really get through it i mean the weight of the shaft and everything is normally what i hit so definitely not the shaft here more of just the head weight itself so maybe okay. just having difficulty controlling it yeah but hmm. i, I mean know. the feel like it's forgiving yeah like i don't feel like it's not ricocheting on my arm i mean generally even though i'm not hitting it great with the exception of one, I'm hitting the fairway. So, hmm. I mean, like, obviously that's a huge point of emphasis for any player is making right. sure we're getting in the fairway. It's kind of like, God, hard. Like firm, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. firm, which. There are players, I mean, I'm, I would kind of almost consider myself someone that likes a firmer feeling driver. I mean, yeah. to a point, and obviously you don't want it to feel like a rock, but. Oh yeah, a lot higher on that one. All right, let's see here. Ugh. Let's see if we got maybe a couple of. I mean, this one you had kind yeah, of the face delete. wide open. This was spin here. Yeah. Take that one out. Let's see, you're trying to. This one's probably your worst. Actually, this one was your probably worst strike. Yeah. We'll take out that one and the one four six too. All right. You got six out of nine. Call it that. So here's our here's our map here. Yeah. What do we at, what do we think here about this? I mean, obviously there's there's different. This is carry. I can go to total and it kind of shrinks it a little bit more. The yeah. Driver, you're probably looking more so at the total number versus the carry, but. Um. Yeah. So I think there's two when you're when you're looking at driver. I mean, for me, um, definitely. I mean, normally I would say I, my club SP is around 90, so I'm a little bit slower today. Yeah. Um, so, you know, taking that into consideration, obviously with the total distance, um, not bad. I think max out with that club head speed, you're looking at probably like 230 if I'm hitting it, yeah. uh, pure. Um, yeah, attack angle is good. Uh, club, at, club path and face angle, you know, obviously those two numbers, we really want to be pretty similar. So when you're talking about whether you're coming a little inside, yep. um, which I am slightly like just being able to close the club face or mm -hmm. in, in that situation, I'm, I'm coming inside and then also kind of holding off a little bit so that it doesn't hook on me. Um, so hitting it like fairly straight. I mean, yeah, a little bit uh, to the right there, but overall spin numbers are a little bit low. Yeah. Um, That's what, that was my first thought is, you know, we're, we're talking about the, the driver that in theory should be a little bit more higher spinning. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, that's probably a little bit lower than we want. I yes. think so it's launching, you know, I think you maybe want a little bit more launch too. And you could in a fitting, right? You can maybe adjust yeah. the hosel and go up in loft maybe, or, yep. you know, there's things that you can be, that can be done today. We're just testing at 10 and a half degrees with that Kylie blue 50 reg so shaft. If you click on, uh, let's check where I'm making uh, contact on sure, the driver yeah. too. Let's go here. Yeah, so I mean, mostly toe side. So if we go by is, the average here, we're kind of going. There's a few more toe. There's that one heel. 
Yeah. But so I, I would say again, like my first initial like response would be like I just feel like I for some reason I just can't really feel the head. Okay. And maybe that's part of just my control like controlling the head and getting through yeah. it. So even though I didn't hit it great, I wouldn't say by any means, like I think there's a lot of people that would still yeah, I mean, take it's, that. So Yeah, I mean, you had you know, if we expand it to you know, if we include every shot here, right, which we can we can do here, but you had kind of the one out here on the right. Yep. That was, you know, you had the club face way open. Yep. But realistically, eight of the nine shots here are like very much in play. They're out there, right? And you obviously were not hitting it the best. So yeah. There's forgiveness. You could, you could do a lot worse, is I guess the way we're gonna yeah. we're gonna phrase it. So now we've got the STZ. I uh, kind of want to you're gonna. You know, reattach this to the shaft, and then we'll maybe talk about how it looks too and how it's different versus the Max. All right, so the STZ now. Um, first impressions on that one compared to the Max without hitting it yet. Yeah, definitely a smaller profile here, a little bit more what I'm used to hitting. Okay. So already kind of more familiar. Um, definitely a little less offset at address. Uh, just based off how the club is lying here on the ground. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think with the STZ, uh, maybe with a little bit more confidence in the head, I'll be able yeah. to make some better strikes. Okay. But I think overall, you'll probably see, um, I, I would say probably, honestly, similar stats. Hopefully, um, we can get the spin rate up a little bit. Yeah, but. yeah I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, it's, I, I, I think the, by the masses, you might see a little bit lower spin, but again, you know, we're gonna we're gonna find out here. Yeah, right. Know? And I, I, what, I think a see lot how it feels for you. And yeah, and I think a lot of it is just like obviously confidence has a huge factor into this, right? But also like we're gonna find out how forgiving the STZ yeah, is right. too. So because I think the ST Max was pretty forgiving, all, all things oh, yeah. considered, you know. For sure. Um, there were some some misses in there that turned out, you know, pretty solid. It wouldn't hurt me. Out yeah. There, so. I was gonna say that was. The low on the face. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Like that. It's better. Yep. That one's really good. Yeah. It's a little bit. Just a little bit. Do you notice the difference in feel between the two? Um, this one definitely doesn't feel as boardy, which is so weird. I don't know, like with the max, if it was just the way I was hitting it, if it just you're felt like, like, like firm. the head weight's different. Is that yeah, what you're saying? yeah, definitely the weight's different. Um, again, I'm not hitting this one great. My swing's a little off today, but overall, like this one definitely feels softer. Yeah, and it, actually, it's not super surprising to me that you were squaring up the max a little bit better, you know, because this one's still, you're kind of hanging yeah. it out a little bit, right? Just because, you know, less offset and stuff like that. Right. Should be pretty good. There's some speed on that one. Yeah. Yep. Let's see what we got, how many swings we got with this one. I feel like you can get, with... You can get a few more in there. That yeah, those first one, two shots were bad. So let's hit some more. I feel like for some reason with this weight, I can at least, I mean, I know I had a few not great shots in there, but like the weight, I feel like I can control it a little bit better. At least I can like. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, which I don't know why, but like, that's just my initial thoughts. Just swinging it. There's another good one. That one was pretty high too. It felt like, yeah, that's good. Left the face open a little bit, but still pretty good. It seems to be a, you know, kind of a theme and it might be just kind of your swing today, you know, something that yep. one range session would probably fix for you, but. Uh, yeah. Eh, it's good contact. Right. Face a little open yet. Interesting. Okay. All right. So I feel like as a fitter, you probably have a good idea of what you would do with these two drivers, right? <laughs> um, let's see, these were the first 
this one was it this one too yeah really those two and then after that we were pretty good so all right so here's our we'll start this version map and you can kind of see obviously there is a difference in maybe the the ability to turn the face over or, or yep. square up the face um and it's not surprising to me that the stz sort of maybe a more you know more forward center of gravity something that's not necessarily designed to square up or turn over as much as the st max so not super surprising to me that that one kind of hung more to the right on you. Mm -hmm. um, look at the numbers, and I think for you, there was probably another... You were able to, to hit the ball in the center more often, though, yeah. with the STZ-230, more, more solid contact. And the result there was a little bit higher launch. And again, part of this being higher launch and was just that the face was a little open. But yeah, know, anything I mean, else to know about you here? Uh, yeah, I mean... I, he, Honestly, this would be a, a fitting tool here, I think. Yeah. Um, obviously, I, I like the feel of the STZ a little bit better than the Max. Yeah. Now, just because I was hitting the Max straighter doesn't necessarily mean, like, oh, that's the club. I right. think that when you're talking about all the other stats with the STZ, definitely more along the lines of what we're looking to, to yeah. get. So some of this is could be shaft. Right, some of it could just be how I'm swinging today too. Yeah. So could be, you know, maybe you go upright on the lie angle and. So this is where, like, when we're when you're fitting, right, and you're talking about, you know, stats, right, and you're, and not just dispersion circle. Obviously, we want to hit it down the middle. Yeah. But you're also talking about feel, looks, confidence. Yeah. Because you know you're doing a small portion of, of shots, right? Yeah. So like, for me, right here as a fitter, asking those questions, being able to say like with the you know, Mizuno drivers back to back, like what ends up feeling better for yeah. you. And then on top of that, if it is one or the other, like just making adjustments to a shaft or making adjustment a little bit to the line angle, like with this one, I would probably just go a little bit upright. Yeah. And I can guarantee you it's gonna go a little bit straighter. And this is just because, you know, the offset on this is a little bit different. Yeah. Also, I mean, me just being me, I was trying to fix a couple things mid swing, <laughs> right, of right. course. So like part of it I know is me just getting that club face closed. Um, but I'd say for like the average golfer that can't always control that as a fitter, you're just trying to get them into the right lie angle and the right yeah. setup. Um, so yeah, overall though, I mean, with STZ, when you take a look at the stats, you take a look at the height, definitely a little bit more height. Now, again, yeah. I'm hitting it more to the right. Yeah. So it's going to go a little higher. Right. But overall, maybe yeah, a little launch bit was two degrees higher, you know, yep. yeah. and there's, there's, and you're hitting the ball further still, even with the STZ, which is, I mean, typically right when you see the ball go right. It also means it's going shorter. Yeah. That didn't happen today. Yeah. Um, and that's and there's a, a, n a number of things that go into that. You were hitting the ball more solid. You were probably swinging with a little bit more confidence too. I think you you said right off the bat you liked the look of the STZ yeah. uh, 230 a little bit better. So there's co a combination of those things that would obviously go into a, if this was a fitting and you're kind of comparing these yeah. two to start. I know you would, you would factor all these things. In yeah, I'd say I'd say a little bit more loft, a little upright, and this thing's gonna go. Yeah. Yeah, pretty you're gonna sure. get a lot better performance. Yeah. I think that was those are the first couple of tweaks that you would make um, if you were fitting yourself. But um, I think you know I like how consistent and forgiving the ST Max was too. Yes. I know we talked about it already, but to see that circle get a little closer, a little bit straighter um, for the golfers that might struggle with that slice, it's gonna kind of bring that ball back a little bit. Um, but then you're just getting for you anyway a little bit more pop, a little bit more speed out of the STZ, which resulted in some more distance. So yeah. I don't know what you're grabbing that for. What? I didn't, did you want? Did you want to test it? Yeah, or? I do. Okay. Okay. Why not? So yeah, let's let's do it. Let's test. <laughs> let's test the STZ. You're gonna move it upright. How yep. far? One, um, two. Um. So we're gonna go. Uh. Let's see here. Plus one upright. Okay. We'll go upright. And we'll so hit, I'm just we'll gonna... hit a few more shots. See what what changes. So yeah. He, as a fitter, my mind is obviously going, let's test out, you know, what I would think would be the perfect fit here, right? Yeah. Um, I don't, I like the shaft. I like the feel of it. I like the results that it's getting so far, but I think, yeah, a little bit more loft, um, potentially. And then a little bit upright will kind of help with how straight we're going to hit this here. Okay. So go upright one. See, right away, that's closer to the center line on the screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll hit one more. Club fitting works. <laughs> that's actually crazy how just right on the very first swing, it just... Yeah. You almost got your best one of the day. 
Oh, well, that was a me thing, but it's still going to be actually pretty good. Wow. That's actually, okay, that's, a, that's fascinating because <clears throat> your face angle here was not good. Was open five and a half degrees and it still stayed. Did it stay in the fairway? No, it didn't. No, it's in the sand track. But look at all these ones over here. Yeah. Um, not the best, but. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still, look, the correction is pretty clear, right? You know, you miss hit that one a little bit. But if we just bring up the dispersion, you know, you kind of, you miss hit this last one, so it's a little shorter. But look at the correction on the direction, right? So clearly the STZ adjusted is certainly a, a much better option for you with that upright setting. You had this, this is your farthest left shot of the day. Yeah. Um, I like, I like what we're seeing here from that one. What other adjustments are you making now? This I'm just not changing the loft as much. We're going to hit one more. Oh, you're going to hit one more. One okay. more. That one's going to be good. That's your, oh, I got that ball speed. Wow. Ooh. Eh, a little low. Not quite, not quite as solid of a strike, but look at, I mean, the correction again. We can talk about the dispersion yep. here quick, but. So we're seeing the upright line angle help you out. Yep. Um, so I think what you would probably do is, you know, that was a bit of a miss hit, right? Yeah. You know, we got a one four six and three thousand spin, but I think you hit a couple more shots in that upright setting with the STZ two thirty. Yep. You're probably going to have up here sort of your range, right? Yep. I think yeah, that's that's the power of club fitting, I guess. Yeah, I think this is. I just wanted to show, you know, um, when you're talking about club fitting, okay? I mean. Uh, Making slight adjustments obviously yeah. can really help. Um, so I don't, again, it's not always the club, but I would say typically when you're talking about different clubs that are and, and why there's adjustment pieces uh, to be able to make those changes. You know, obviously making a change to the swing can help, right? But I would think too, you know, when you're talking about what's perfect for certain people, depending on you know how they're swinging the golf club and everything, like you can make those adjustments. Even Mizuno has the ability to be able to do that, right? Yep upright, uh, decrease loft, increase loft. So those pieces are really good to be able to really dial things in and yeah. make sure that you're hitting it how you should. Yeah, yeah, I think that today, this is a good example of it. I didn't necessarily come into this expecting to get a whole fitting, uh, you know, <laughs> fitting lesson at the end of it, but I think it does show like, there's a comparison of the clubs piece. This is kind of how fittings go, right? Like it's, we hit a few different heads, whether yep. it's drivers, we go to irons and you know, you might, the, the golfer, you, the golfer, are going to pick one that you like the best, that feels the best, that, you know, might fly the best on the screen. And then from there, the fitter dials you in on the loft, the lie angle, the length, things like that. That um, That's kind of what this sort of was a microcosm of what you yep. might experience. So Mizuno ST Max and STZ drivers um, available in sec at Second Swing to get fit today. Um, pretty good stuff today from them. Very forgiving on the ST Max. STZ was probably a little bit hotter, at least for, for Jackie today, but uh, make sure you schedule a fitting for a Mizuno driver. Someone like Jack will take care of you. And then, of course, we'll dial in these these pieces for you as well to make sure that driver hits the ball um, exactly how you want it. So, Jackie, thank you for all your insight today and hitting the shots. This is great. Yep, thank you.